Uh, hello and welcome to uh, our play introductions into the world of Autaltus. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. And I'll let you know in the comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and with this one, we are going to take each player individually and slowly introduce them, or quickly actually introduce them to the other players, bring them all in one location. So instead of all just meeting like that and having to do player intros, we're going to do personalized. So with that being said, I am seated right next to William Tucker. Go ahead, William, and tell us who, uh, what you do and your character, please. Okay. As he said, I'm William Tucker. Um, I write Pathfinder slash uh, 5e adventures currently so far for Total Party Kill Games. I also have a few adventures out and supplements for the Hackmaster game system. Um, when, depending when this is released, uh, we might still be currently in my, uh, not my, but uh, Total Party Kills Kickstarter for my two adventures, uh, Splinter Fang Gorge and Noble Cause uh, Bloodied Hands. So It's been funded, but we've got still a few more stretch goals to reach. So, and uh, the character that I'm playing today is uh, Terris Robel, a uh, human cleric of uh, travel. Uh, let me see the uh, uh, Tolatrin is my deity. I am a uh, swarthy 22 year old. Don't mistake it in real life, but yeah, swarthy 22 year old, six feet tall, 215. I'll let you guess about it. he's got the better waistline than me or not. <laughs> uh, hazel eyes, auburn hair, tan complexion. Um, due to most of his uh, time out on the road, he's a wanderer. He's an outlander, and he's uh, he's uh, specializes in uh, healing magic, but uh, he also believes in protection because he does sport very shiny plate no armor. He's armed with a mace. Um, he has a uh, light crossbow for backup, and uh, yeah, he tends to travel the road. A, he likes to help people, and B, he's kind of leaving his past behind. It ends up that his uh, uh, his grandfather, by the name of uh, Narvik, um, worshipped at the wrong side of the deity wheel and was uh, into trying to uh, release some things from the deep. And, uh, and he was killed by a wandering band of uh, murder hobos, otherwise known as adventurers. But, um, and I was, uh, myself and my family were a bit shamed about that. And I was like, you know, I just can't stand uh, taking the looks from the uh, rest of the villagers and everything. You know, my family owned a, mount, uh, a whole mountain. Whenever I'd wander into town, the, the looks that they would give me, okay, when's this generation going to turn? And I was like, okay, enough of this mess. I'm going to go ahead and wander. Um, wander the land and maybe leave my name behind or maybe through my deeds uh, balance things out and make people forget uh, what happened in the past and concentrate on the now. Uh, but it ends up that name has uh, followed me quite a while, so I end up walking into this new land. And Okay. Um, just to let you know, this is a promo piece for the Kickstarter campaign for uh, the uh, world of Atultus. Uh That's A-E-T a L T I S. Again, that's A E T A L T I S. That is currently going on from September 6th through, uh, I think it ends um, October 5th or 6th. I'm not completely positive on that, but uh, please take a look, support it, and, and they're, they're gracious enough to give us all sorts of material to do this podcast with. So, with that being said, we will progress. We have find ourselves um, in the town of Thornwall. Now, Thornwall is this walled-in village. Uh, where, well, it's a, actually a small town. The walls are quite grand as far as they, they, they go a large expanse, uh, expanse around the town, encompassing a couple ponds, uh, a couple uh, different farms, as, or a few different farms as well. Uh, there's plenty of uh, trees to enjoy. And um, there are uh, a few roads going into and out of town, so there are several gates. 
and the town is in its years of, um, uh, of later glory. It's no longer there. Uh, hardship has come upon the lands and is slowly been uh, affecting the town where more and more people have been leaving over the years. Not, not a quick pace, but as they realize that the jobs are going and things like that, and there's not money to be made, the merchants slowly leave, and when there's no, no one to sell your goods to, some of the farmers start leaving and things of that nature. So the town is in decline, but it's still here, um, and it still has its governing body. And we find ourselves in, um, we have a lone traveler who has wandered in along the road in, in his travels. One that goes by the name of Taurus Rubble. And he is with his, his faithful, his faithful mount who carries all his stuff. <laughs> Did you have another one, just, just the mule? Or? Uh, just the one. I could only handle one. Okay. One, one. I can only handle one jackass at a time. <laughs> um, but I name I name him just for intimidation purposes, Glue, because that's what he'll become if he gets too out of line. But, yeah. And and the, and the mount um, is is a fairly new addition to him to Taurus. Uh, he uh, he finds that uh, he he's only he picked him up in the in the last in the last village uh, that he went through, and uh, unfortunately. The, the saddle bags and everything, the, the, the bags to carry all his goods were uh, not in the best of shape. He got a really great deal though, and uh, he found out why. It, 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 the, the bags fell apart on the way here with the weather. Um, we find ourselves in the, uh, the warm air currently. It's in the summertime. And uh, with weather conditions the way they are, it wore through things. Lost his saddlebags, I mean, just as far as falling apart, and now he's had to carry his gear and, or place it on top of the mule, but there's, there really hasn't been a great way. So, that being said, you've wandered into the, the, the town of, of, of Thornwall, um, and you went to the gates. And you, you see what appears to be a, a mostly human-looking town. Um, and you realize that carrying stuff all over the place and, and the extra load upon you and, right. and the mule being as ineffective as it is, it might be a good idea to do something about that. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I, I did have a sewing kit that was one of the saddlebags. And the saddlebags are gone because it, it fell through the hole. Ain't that irony? But, um, yeah. So, but the guard, the guards, you know, hold you and, uh, hold, uh, who, who are you? They've got, they seem to have a, 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 a ledger of some sort, mm -hmm. uh, and, and quill and ink. About three, three human looking guards and, 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 and just plain leathers, um, and, and, uh, and, and sturdy spears. Okay. Okay, I am a kind guard. I am Terrace Roble. I hold up my, uh, I hold my, up my uh, holy symbol amulet. I am the, uh, I'm a travel cleric of uh, uh, Tolatren, uh, and I am uh, here to uh, re, uh, to uh, refurbish myself of uh, some of the equipment that has failed me during my travels. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, all right. So you you here <coughs> here to buy goods? Sounds. good. Sounds fine. Have, have you, are you a wanted criminal anywhere? Mm, nope, not by the authorities. Not wanted. Let's see, okay. Uh, yes. Alright. Uh, are you intent on committing any crimes while you are here? No. Is gambling a crime? Uh, no, gambling is not a crime. Okay, then I, then there no crime will be committed. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, you, you may enter. Uh, he, he, you notice that the guards, they, 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 they kind of look you and your, and your steed over, or, well, your, your pack mule over, um, like, looking for perhaps any contraband goods of any sort, you know, something that, you know, oh, I don't know, 
that you, you it just you, you just get that look that, that they're looking at something, but they realize there's not much really to look at. Right. So <laughs> it'd be different if you were in a wagon or. Or, or a cart or something like that. Since it's almost all hanging out, it's going to be a quick it's inspection. That, exactly. Oh, yeah. So there, there really wasn't a lot of like, oh, let's shuffle through things. I mean, they just kind of glance you over. And that, that crowbar's not up to code. Yeah. <laughs> Is that made with weird iron? Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, uh, and, you, and you wander into town. Um, you, you pass by a couple small little, little cottages. Uh, you see that there is a, a, a bridge up ahead. Uh, going over a nice little creek um, of appears to be uh, about maybe 20 to 30 feet wide um, doesn't appear to be any fast moving waters or anything like that but you do see there it is a steady stream a slow steady stream okay so and up ahead you can see you can see the uh, more ga gathering of, of, of closer knit Houses and structures of sorts, uh, more uh, merchant type, you know, you know, where they're multiple stories, mm. you know, two story structures with signs hanging out and such. Do I see any uh, places of uh, worship here? Um, you think that you s perhaps spot something off in the distance. You can't quite make it out. It does seem perhaps it may be a regal structure, of, uh, it may be a structure of holiness uh, or not. It's hard to say at this at this distance. Okay. Well, if, there, if there's like a town well before it, I'd like to refill my water skin. Otherwise, I'll, I'll just like to see uh, what may be the uh, prevalent uh, faith of the, uh, of the town. Okay. Um, you know you're going to have to, it looks like you're going to have to go further into town. Mm -hmm. uh, there, from what, as you're going into the, this merchant area, uh, you notice that the, there are some side streets. They're not very wide, big enough to get like a wagon down. Mm -hmm. uh, not like the current road you're on, which appears that it's the main drag through the city, uh, which would be about, say, three wagons wide. So. Um, you feel that there may be a more prevalent way to go instead of being lost in, the, in, in uh, a few blocks of, of residential areas behind all the merchant houses. So, and you're not even sure if those roads actually lead to the place. It could just be dead ends, as far as you know. I think what might be more, uh, more immediate, though, now, now that I think about it, is I really need some saddlebags. Okay. So I don't want things to start falling on me. All right. Um, you are, as you're progressing, you see a variety of, of, of institutions of, 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 uh, of goods. Um, you are able to find what appears to be a purveyor of leather goods. So a leather worker uh, has a, a variety of uh, wares that are uh, on display in the windows. Um, as well as there are hitching posts uh, all along the path so far, as, as far as you can see. And here and there, sporadically, there may be a, a horse or a pony um, tied to those posts. And there's a bustle of people about. Um, many of them are a variety of dress, anywhere from, um, you know, poor, very poor peasant to uh, perhaps a proprietor of one of the establishments walking up about them. So, uh, no, you don't see any anyone regally dressed with nobility. But uh, again, this seems to be the main thoroughfare through the through this the small town. Um, and the uh, the scent, uh, it's summer, it's hot. That being said, with with pack animals. They do their business anywhere they feel like doing it. So there's a little bit of aroma with, with the, the heat. Of course. You know, it's uh, just about every place can smell like a tannery. <laughs> <laughs> Any road can if you're on. Uh, well, I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, first, um, if where the leather go goods are sold, I'm going to tie my mule right next to probably the most noble looking horse. That way, if any thieves are looking at it, they'll okay. look at this Corvette instead of the Chevette. 
Okay. As far as they're going to steal or anything, no one, no one, they're going to target something a little bit more of the high quality than what I've been dragging around for miles and miles. Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, visit the uh, the uh, leathers merchant and see you know, him getting uh, getting my bags replaced. Okay. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. So. It's alphabetical. Yeah, perception. Okay, just standard with my list. Okay. I, mean, I know what perception does, but I got a 14. Okay. Now, just looking around a little bit, uh, you notice that the that uh, some of the buildings uh, appear to be a little more worn than others here and there spread. It, it's not like you, it's a bad row or anything like that, but um, you can see that even some of the places uh, occasionally you'll see like a maybe a boarded up window or something perhaps um, or a look of that the place may be deserted um, on just some of the cottages that you just happen to see a little bit through you know between the structures oh there's a little cottage over there and that, you know that that doesn't appear to be like someone's living there or that you know maybe the hmm. windows busted or something like that but again it's, it'd be like one out of every, you know, 10 or 20 structures somewhere in that vicinity of that, that looks, looks that way, a little deserted to you. Um, and you have noticed that there appears to be, uh, for a small town, there actually appears to be a decent amount of, of, of beggars mm. about. Bigger than the size of a, of a small town should be. Oh, okay. And you see, like, for instance, not, not too far away, there appears to be um, a couple small children and dressed in what appears to be rags. Uh, humans, um, mostly, I mean, that's, that's what the, is closest to you, is some human children. And, uh, and of course, they, they you know, they've got, like, uh, what looks like a little clay cup and, and you know, asking any passerbys. Um, but they're about, say, uh, 20 feet or so away from you. So they're not right in the structure you're at. Oh, okay. But, so there's a, there's a door to the, to the leather shop. And okay. Um, so we got, um, I don't want to call them too much, but, uh, I mean, how many street, street urchins do we have nearby? Um, I'd say there's a, a couple of children about 20 feet away. Um, you might see an older man, he's kind of, you know, he looks like he's maybe on the opposite side of the street mm -hmm. and, uh, sitting on uh, a step and looking very destitute as well. Okay. Um, and then, you know, maybe, uh, maybe about 50 feet or more down from the children, it looks like there is, uh, Perhaps a disabled person. Kind of hard to tell whether they're male or female. Matty hair and everything else long. Kind of get in the way. Kind of hard to tell. Mm -hmm. So, again, not a huge amount. But um, you thought you might have even seen a couple more on your way to this point. Mm -hmm. But there, there, there's more stores here and stuff like that. So there's more more people who are walking around. I go to one of the older children who's got cups out. And oh, I... hi. Jeez. Please help. Okay. I uh, take out uh, from my pouch uh, two copper, and oh. I was like, uh, watch watch my horse, and you get two more of these. Oh, thank you. And I'll oh, be right back. Thank you so much. Uh, um, and, 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 and the kids, they just, it's just the dirty little faces, and they do break the little smiles, and it's just, you know, little little tears come out, and, and, it, and it leaves little clear trails. <laughs> through, through the through the dirt. Um, this is why I travel. So, <laughs> so I don't have to see it for too long. I can keep going. And but um, I help out. So they're very very happy. And, uh, so you know, I go, yes yes, I I will watch I will watch your mount. Mm -hmm. And um, so the kids are just kind of sitting there watching, and and, and there's the shop. All right, I. Uh, I go in, I just give one little stern look to them, and I walk around. Okay. Um, and you walk into the shop, you, it's a, you can smell uh, all the, 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 the 
the tanning um, chemicals and things that are being have been used. Uh, very, very much a leather shop. You can, oh yeah, you get a good strong whiff of that, and, and um, uh, you, you know it's everything smells smell has a new smell to it. So um, you see large variety um, for a shop in a town this size, of, um, where you have different saddle bags, um, you know, qui uh, empty. Uh, Quivers, you know, you see some leather armor set up and things like that as well. Uh, boots. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm working that one. And and there's and there's a a a, uh, um, a rather well um, put together uh, human male um, appears to have a uh, no facial hair. Um, and, a, and a moppy head of, of, of brown hair, mm -hmm. and um, sitting behind the, the counter and, and putting together some other pieces, and looks like he may be working on uh, maybe perhaps breaches of some sort. Or... It's been five days since I last seen the mirror. So I know I'm feeling a little stubby <laughs> right there. I'm a little envious <laughs> at his clean shavedness, but uh, I was like. Uh, Right, sir. I'm, oh I'm, yes. I'm, seek, I'm seeking to uh, purchase some uh, saddlebags. Oh, you've come to the right store. We have uh, we have plenty of saddlebags. He puts his thing down and he says, "Oh, let me let me show you." He walks over and he shows you a variety. I mean, he's kind of looking at you, um, and uh, kind of looking you up and down. Um, oh, um, well, of course. Right? We have very fine implements for horses here. We've got these saddlebags here made of very fine. Feel, feel this, feel this, lovely. feel how soft it is. Uh, very sturdy. Look at the craftsmanship. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at the seaming I've done on it, and, and it's, it's well sealed and, and uh, prepared for the elements. Um, he says, uh, we, you know, we've got this, and, it, and it's a, it's a saddle on either side. Saddlebags on either side. Um, or were you preferring something more, uh, more pack animal type thing, where with multiples, pouches and and such? Pack animal, uh, pack animal. More pack animal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and uh, he he kind of lifts it up a little bit, and and he kind of goes through a couple saddles underneath, and he goes, okay, I've got this one here, and he kind of yanks it out from under. These <laughs> poles set up oh, so that okay. he can he can rest them on the poles. Nice. And uh, so there's a couple different layers, or a few different layers of poles, and he just kind of, you know, pulls this one out and kind of sets it on top. Um, and what you see is there, there's multiple pouches on it, a little wider than the other ones. Um, not really meant for riding, yeah. you know. And he shows you, oh, you know, look at these buckles, and, and uh, you know, ah, pull on that. Go ahead, pull on that. Yeah. You, know, you can feel it good, strong, yeah. you know. And um, I can, I can punched additional holes in there if you wish, sir. But, um... I'll take the one with the blue thread. The blue oh, thread. Yeah, so we can do that. All right. All right. <laughs> so, and he, he says, um, well, that's, that's, um, that's going to be uh, 35 gold. 35? Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's the blue threaded one. Like you this like. is very true. This is very true, and I look a little impoverished and stuff like that. I'm not skilled with the merchant tongue, so I'm not going to, like, uh, talk them through. I feel like I'm going to be doing them a favor. <laughs> anyway. Now, his shop isn't, I mean, it looks like he was the only one in his shop. Right. It doesn't look like there's anybody else currently. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to keep it all, keep it, uh, keep everything going by himself. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to put that there. Okay, uh, 35. Yep. Okay, I'll go ahead and pay it off to him. And did you need any work on your boots, perhaps? Or? Um, no, but you could direct me uh, to where I might be able to get some uh, uh, some feed or grain for my uh, for my mule outside. Oh, yes, yes. Um, and maybe direct me to the nearest tavern, too. Oh, yes. Well, of course. Oh, good tavern. <laughs> well, everybody goes, everybody wants to go to the 
to the Green Briar Tavern. Just, you can't miss it. It's, it's, it's the nicest, largest tavern we've got in town. It'll be a little further down on your right. Mm -hmm. And are you looking for just to feed your 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 pack animal, or, or for the for the day, or are you looking for grains to, to go out of town? Uh, grains to uh, go out of town. Um, they could they could take care of that there as well. Oh, they have uh, they do have that. They have some of the best around. So you just go over there and. Uh, the, the proprietor, uh, Caitlin, will help you out, <laughs> and she'll be able to help you with your with your needs. So, um, but they have all sorts of manner of, of rooms and such. If you're traveling through town, perhaps you'll stay for the evening. Um, and then, of course, they have the appropriate place to put your your animals as well. Okay. The stables. So, um, and again, uh, they they do bag have, get, can get feed and everything for you, so you don't have to go around town to get it if you wish. Uh -huh. Or I can recommend another place. Uh, it sounds like I kill uh, two birds with one stone. So yeah, I'll go ahead and go there. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh, by all means, not a problem. Uh, one other thing, do you know yes. where I could go? Um, is there a smithy? Because I, uh, lo I lost my shield in uh, uh, about 20 leagues back due to oh. a slight altercation. I need, to, need a new shield. He says, yes, yes. Um, on your way there, or on the left-hand side, you'll find a, a smithy that will be able to assist you. Oh. can't miss it. All right. Yeah. They're working on, on all sorts of goods. So... Um, give me a, um, perception check. Oh, all right. 22. Okay. You notice that one of your pouches is open. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where you would keep some of your, um, some of your goods on uh, your, uh, like on your, uh, one of your belt pouches is open. Okay. Something, you know, and you, uh... My coin pouch or... Nope. No? Oh, okay. Not a coin pouch. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> but it is open. All right. I make a uh, quick assessment. I mean, did I feel it open or I just noticed it is now open? Um... You, well, I mean, you just kind of, you know, as you were messing with your coin pouch. Oh, okay. And everything else, you kind of looked and you were like, hmm, that's all. But it wasn't last time you, you remember. Yeah, last time I checked was just probably a little while ago. Exactly. Uh, okay, well, he's, I guess when he's tidying up, uh, maybe count the coins, and it says, I make a quick assessment to see if anything's messing, if it feels lighter or anything. Um, yeah, you're looking through it, and um, it's kind of where you, you kept... Uh, some of your personal effects. Uh, okay. uh, you had a. Uh, there was your your mother had given you um, a, a, a handkerchief, mm -hmm. and it had your your initials on it. You know, just something for you. Right, a little memento. A little memento um, that you've had ever since you were you were you were young. So it's one of the few things that you've kind of taken with you, but it's missing. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll keep. A, I'll, I'm going to keep an eye out. Maybe look on. Maybe uh, some on the floor. You already announced that there was nobody in here. Or at least nobody right. I know, except the shopkeeper himself. I'll probably go outside and. You don't see anything in the shop. Yeah, if I see somebody blowing their nose, I'll probably pay attention to what they're blowing their nose into. Okay. Go over the side of it. That's about it. I'm, I'm not going to be too concerned, and I'm not going to get rowdy, because no, the shopkeeper's been in front of me all this time, so... Roll another perception. Okay. As you, you go out of the shop. Okay, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> not seven. Not that that makes much. All right. <laughs> you go outside the door of the shop, and, and you know, you're looking around, and everything else, and you, I mean, you don't happen to see it. Um, there's your mount. Okay. Or your, 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 your trusty uh, pack animal. Glue, yeah. Glue, yeah. 
Um, I'm trying to notice if everything on him is uh, s still on. That's the reason yes. why I got the ring. Okay, I should find out a quick inventory as I'm going there. Are the kids that were there before, are they still watching? Do a quick perception. Uh-oh. All right, well, we'll be better. 15. You see the two little kids? Yeah. Like, darting down the main road. Ah. Uh. And they're heading... They're heading um, not out of town, right. further towards the center of town. I'm in plate mail armor, and despite my high strength, we're talking about youth <laughs> versus tank. Um, I'm gonna leave the, their fate into my uh, deity's hands. Hopefully, I'll cross them. I'll make note. I'm gonna try to remember their faces and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'll run them into town and stuff like that. I'll just sigh, retie my. Uh, a one pouch right there with a double knot or what I remember from a sailor's knot, which was quite a few leagues ago, and uh, just hope for the best and just like, <sighs> and I go in the instructions to first the armory and then hopefully head to the tavern. Okay. Um, I don't meet any more kids. You get to the armory, <laughs> you're able to find, you talk to the, to to them, and and they're able to help you out. I mean. You know, you're looking for a shield, right? Just a yeah, standard shield. Standard shield. He's able to find you a good standard shield that that, that looks to your. You, you have a variety of different shapes and things like that mm -hmm. to pick from, whether it's circular or. Any with the emblem of my deity on it, by chance? No, but they could. They they could special. Okay. Do something special for you. It just it wouldn't be immediate. Oh, okay. Could they like uh, fashion it for the next day? Could they have a great? You give them a couple time? days. A couple days. He could he could do something on the on the front perhaps. I've been on the road for a while. I think I could uh, manage to. Unless you just want unless you just wanted it painted. The paint chips and I I I've I have some experience with battle. Uh, I'd rather have an emblem on there, but uh, I see myself staying in town at least a couple days because okay. I might have I might chance upon those youths again and get my handkerchief back. So all right. Um, they can do something for you. Uh, the the uh, shield will be standard, standard, standard price plus um, five gold for the get get that get that done for you with the, the emblem on there. Nice emblem standing out. Um, uh, you know, it's just kind of a rush job, so to speak. It's not really. I mean, he, he's going to make sure that he gets your yours done. Oh, okay. For you in time. Okay, I'll. Uh... I'll pay five ahead and pay the rest later. Okay. So, so um, that being said, you've got that taken care of, and and, um, and and not too far away, you see a rather large uh, inn. Mm -hmm. It appears that uh, um, two different structures there, and you see. Um, Looks like a little fenced area with a, with an open gate. So the, there appears to be uh, stables, um, and one of the st freestanding structures, and the other structure appears to be where where everyone everyone is going. Um, and uh, looks like a, a, a local tavern plus uh, uh, the inn portion to it as well. And locals seem to be going there, and travelers, lots of people seem to be going in and out. All right, I'm gonna go hit the uh, stable section, if you will, okay. and uh, ask. Uh, well, I don't need the uh, grain right now. I just need the uh, stable to make sure they eat, fed, and watered, and rubbed down for uh, the next two nights, and then I'll purchase what I need uh, when I leave. So I'll just go ahead and uh, make arrangements to have uh, glue stable and stuff. I can take whatever necess necessities off of him for a uh, uh, before. Purchasing a room for the night. Okay. Roll perception. All right. If you're going to tell me one of the stable boys is the same kid, <laughs> which I wouldn't know because I got a 10. Well, you know, 10 actually, yeah, 10 actually is just enough. You happen to notice that standing um, on one of the other sides of the wall of the stable, uh, you see the two, the two boys. 
who are out there. Right. Um, and, and they've noticed you. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are in the inner kind of open courtyard uh, going towards the tavern. And, and of course, they make a grand, mad dash to the, to the tavern. Oh, they make a bad dash into the tavern? Yes. This is going to be interesting. I note their faces and stuff. Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, but I'm already in the stable, so, right? Yes. Yeah, I took care of that business. Okay, I'm going to try to put on my best stern look, because sometimes I do that when I hear certain confessions. So, okay. Give, a, give my little uh, sir coat a tuck, and I go ahead and... Uh, walk forward in the tavern, just, uh, not, I, don't, I don't have my mace in my hand, but my hand's kind of just resting on the head as I walk on in. Okay. All right. And with that, we'll call it. All righty.